Yo, my people, welcome back to another episode of the Out Your Podcast. I'm your host, Jay to the Izzo, and I'm joined by Mids MB Yazarski. That's weird. What's weird? There's like, I'm talking into that camera. Oh, yeah. I have to yeah, remember yeah, there's yeah, that yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I had to switch my eyes a bit. But we yeah. switched. We switched because you know what it is? We got this nice little mural. Obviously, mm. you can see we had from our live show. If you guys check that video out, there we go. That's, that's it. Synergy. I was about to say, if you guys are smart, if you know what's good for you, check mm. out the live show, our first ever live show. We want to do more. And you know, we probably will do more. Um, mm. It's just about timing, to be fair with you. I feel like we could do another one. Yeah. Another one can definitely, definitely run. But if you guys did miss out, unfortunately, like the whole thing isn't on YouTube. The whole thing isn't on Spotify yeah. either. You like, just put the politically correct version and then after that, it's just... Yeah, yeah, I can't lie. I'm <laughs> just starting to get wild. <laughs> With that live show, this guy was moving crazy. Like, he, let, you know what it is, yeah? Guys, like, if you've been listening to this podcast, who nah, do you think was moving nah, crazy? Nah, he let the muzzle off. He, he let the muzzle off. Who do you think was moving crazy? This whole time, the girl's on the silencer, you know what I mean? Little mm. five clip. This guy brought the extendo clip. Mm. Eh, bro, no silence. I just bam, bam, bam. <laughs> just letting it go Remember, I've got the real files. <laughs> Still. Wait, why what? would I, why would I delete it? GDPR, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, why would you delete it? What do you mean, GDPR? It's all files. Wait, what do you mean, why would you delete it? Why wouldn't you delete it? Why would that delete? It's but artwork. It's like a year old. So? so it's said, artwork. Why would that delete no, 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 it? I just thought it's artwork. What's wrong like... with it? Like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Now they can talk different. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyways, go check out the little snippets that we put on. It's on YouTube as well as Spotify. So make mm. sure you check that out. Um, yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to the Spotify fam. Shout out to everybody that's been streaming. We are going to be coming with some new material, some new stuff. Um... Very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. And obviously, you can comment on Spotify as well. So, if you want to see something in particular, let us know. Yeah, let us know. I can't lie. Yeah, it is awkward me looking to this. I told you. Told it's you. all right, though. It's all right because it's kind of our people are here regardless. Yeah, so, literally. let them know how we're starting off today, bro. So, we got some hit blunts for you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you do a trivia. I'm done with trivia for now. Uh, for cool. now. So, the first question is Who did Muhammad Ali beat in the. What? <laughs> If I conk your head. If I conk your head. All right, good. The first um, hit blood is, with rising temperature, human beings, no, human society might shift to being nocturnal. I'll read it again. With rising temperature, human society might shift to being more nocturnal. I feel like... Oh, because during the day it'll be hotter. So hot that it'll be that, yeah. I don't think it'll be that bad, though. It it depends how long we're here for, though, as well. We? Well, not us, because it Here? wouldn't be that bad in our lifetime. But Here? Yeah, As like... in this country or Earth? Because I saw them rioters outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Them rioters ain't getting to me. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, just, I hear it. Because you know next week, Monday, it's going to be... 30... When this comes out, it's yeah. going to be 31 degrees. Mm. I thought we were done with the 30s. Because I think yeah. it was, what, for the barbecue, it was, what, 30, 29? Yeah, like 28, 29. And yeah. then after that, it was coasting for a young 25, 24 mm. on a daily. I was like... This, if the summer's like this, this, this is yeah. calm. But you know the UK, there has to be that one day where it's like hell on earth. But do you know what it means? It's not just going to be Monday. Tuesday's going to be like that as well, and Sunday. Yeah, it's just sleeping, that's the problem. Yeah. I don't mind it, it's just the sleeping. Yeah, because like, it's, it's sticky, it's yeah. heavy. And you just don't want to be on the bus as well. Oh, that, those are the two things. Bro. Bus or pack train. Office is not seeing me. Yeah, no. Can't lie to you, it's not seeing me. I feel you. It's either, it's either I shift my day to Friday, yeah. which <laughs> we're not doing that, or they're not going to see me. 31 degrees. Catch a linebacker or something. I will slap your <laughs> this head. This guy will just fit so on Tom Bridge. So <laughs> <laughs> just give us... So one. I can collapse or get, or get cluttered by one of these crazy drivers. Literally. Nah, man. I don't even know how people do the linebacker thing. Like, honestly. You could get a scooter as well. Nah, man. So they can blow up on me as well. Bro. <laughs> but you know I can't lie. I, You're dramatic. I, I'm so happy. <laughs> I saw them blowing up like, what, like two, three years ago, I swear. And but, you think they'll still be on the road? I don't know, man. <laughs> All I'm saying is that the Lime... I remember the first time I ever rode a Lime scooter yeah. was in Paris oh, okay. before COVID. Mm. This was before they were here in these shores. Mm. And I was like, this is lit. Yeah, but the ones here aren't that fast. They go to like 20. No, nah, the one that was there, I think, went to like 25, yeah, 26. Yeah, our ones don't. 
They bro, might, they might do what? 25. We were whizzing around. Even on the pavement, some mm. old lady tried to like, slap us off the trolley, um, trolley, the scooter with her umbrella. But why do? I don't know. She just saw like, to be fair with you, like, I was the shortest one, innit? Because mm. my brother was Danae and he was Ak, innit? Okay. And all four of us was like, zoom, zoom. She was, I don't know what she thought was happening. I, thought, mm. I don't know if she was, she was going to get robbed or like a heist mm. is going on. She thought it was Lupin, but the early trailer, innit? <laughs> but yeah, man, trying to get us off the scooter somehow. I don't know why. But that was lit though. I'd do it again. Yeah, no. 100%. I thought like when you're in another country, it's not like. I mean, you could do it here, but it's more fun. It's though. not the same. Because you don't have to follow as but you, you feel free. Bro, I, I, outside of your own country, you don't follow the same rules. Yeah, or like, yeah. or not even the same rules, it's just like you don't do certain stuff you'll do at home because like no one knows you here. Yeah, yeah like, literally. I'm, I'm another character just here for a couple of days. Mm. Let me just live. Whereas yeah. when you're back home, you're like, ah, oh, but you know, I might see someone mm. that I know. Or like, I, like, do you know what I mean? There's that extra bit of, I don't want to say shame. Yeah, I get, I get what you mean. But I it's get. some, I don't know what Because if you like wanted to think about it logically, like if I did it in like, I don't know, Richmond Park, I don't know anyone in Richmond. Yeah, but then at the same time, like, oh, I don't know. Oh, you got some things to... No, <laughs> I, I haven't. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not doing that. We're not doing that because I definitely don't. Um, oh, I, no. 100%, I 100% don't. It's just north. Uh, I 100% <laughs> don't have anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> purely budget. <laughs> um, purely budget. Yeah, cool. um, no, nah, I'm just saying like, even then it's like, you know, when you go to certain ends and it's like, you know the vibe there, it's a bit, mm, I don't know. No, I get you. Abroad, you ain't... You just, you just made the UK sound like the worst vibe. <laughs> no, but like... Because you, you basically just said, you, you don't know anyone here, but still the ends and all that stuff. Yeah, no, but it's just like, for example, like when you go to like, oh, how can I say it? Like when you're in Essex, you know you're in Essex. There's an mm. Essex type of vibe. When you're in South, there's a South type of vibe. Yeah. When you're abroad, you don't know these towns and what the vibes are, or the ends yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So you're just doing whatever. There's hella side missions. Here is the main mission. Do you think they get like annoyed? Like, why do they come here? Like, like who knows? Hundred yeah, percent. I think out of all tourists, English tourists might be the worst yeah. in Europe. No, but in terms worst. of ignorance, yeah, because like you don't see like Spanish people just coming here and start speaking Spanish to like. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll do... pasa? <laughs> why don't you know Spanish? <laughs> like we do that. Like we'll go to like I don't know Amsterdam and we'll just start speaking English and just. Or Germany, just and just expect them to understand. understand. Yeah, like nah, you know what? We'll even try to get like Google out and try to do the translation. Well, that's them. Me, whenever I go to a new country, I learn a couple words at least. Yeah, but I'm just speaking about English tourists in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. horrible. I know they go to like Ibiza. Yeah, but yeah. Ibiza at that point is like what we lost it in the Euros, bro. Ibiza, oh. Tenerife, <laughs> Gibraltar. That's all Spain's again, bro. Yeah, like uh, until another four years or maybe the World Cup, mm. it's Spain's territory now. Yeah. Honestly. This is theirs, like, they got the bragging rights, bro. It's unfortunate, but so it go. I just thought it was coming home, crazy. Hey, man. All right, cool. The next <laughs> one is... To this nation. Go on. Um, we're lucky that water has such a low viscosity. Mm. <laughs> Woo! 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 Hello, that? police. Yeah, I like to put <laughs> a crime on English. <laughs> no, I like, yeah, on English. <laughs> go ahead again, bro. You can't read... Is your own handwriting? No, it's the bit before that. No, but it's, it's nice. Okay, but sorry. it's your own handwriting. Shut up. Uh, okay, the next one is. Wait, 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 quickly, please show it to the camera. I just, no, 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 no. Show, I just, I just hell no. no! So you can start zooming in. I know you think. <laughs> I know these are four K. You can get every word. One hundred percent. Because I need to know, like, like me, I can always read my handwriting, bro. No. What's going I, on? I wrote this before I came here. Anyway, it's nice that water <laughs> such a night. It's nice that water has such a low <laughs> viscosity. It would be annoying if it was as thick as something like syrup or honey. What's Read it again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> right, cool. This is the last time I'm reading this. It's nice that water has such a nice low viscosity. Yeah. It would be annoying if it was thick like syrup or honey. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because it's not viscous. I hear it. What? Viscosity. Okay. Yeah, it's not viscous. If something is viscous, it's, it has. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be imagine like it's like some sludge or like. <laughs> and you had to drink like mm, how many bottles a day? That's I don't know, like two, li- two, two, two liters. Two liters of like honey. Nah, oh, nah, that's disgusting, man. I feel like an alien. Mm. Like you know, like there's alien films where it's like there's the the cytoplasm. Like cyto- you know the Matrix when he comes out of the goo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I can't drink. It's, it's like you know them little aliens you yeah. get in primary school. <laughs> Drinking that is horrible. For nourishment? No. Nah, That's nourishing. Nah, Ugh. Yeah, yuck. 
That's, imagine that was your sweat. I think I think it will even be worse, you know. What do you like mean? in terms of diabetes, I'll put like sweetener and something. I'll have to make it like. Wait, but what's the difference? Just because, to, just because it's a bit thicker. No, but you know when you put like sugar and something, it kind of makes the experience a bit less. Do you put sugar in water? No. So why would you put it in it? If, if it was now? sludgy, I'll have to. What eat like it's like it's <laughs> like it's tapioca or or, 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 or oggy. <laughs> That's it. What is like oggy? I hear it. Because I'm not just having that like plain. It's what you wouldn't. If it's sludgy, nah, man. A flavored water be through the roof. Exactly. What Volvic strawberry? But if you don't have strawberries at home, nah, I just meant like the the niggas that put the like mm. when they bottle it up. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, saying yeah, if you yeah. don't, if you can't make flavored water at home, just get a, a teaspoon of sugar. And... So would it? So in terms of that hit blunt, you know, yeah, is that just for drinking water or is that count with sweat? Because if it's sweat, that's that even, is I'm disgusting. just saying water in general, so that's even worse. If it's sweat, it's like you're going to get a neuro massage. I'm going to play like sports. Ugh. Someone like Adam Archer would be flying. What? He'd be slipping everywhere, bro. That's what I'm saying. He'd be flying, bro. No one can touch him as well. No. Lukaku would be finished. That would have sweats as soon as... <laughs> as soon as... <laughs> for for yeah. uh, first half, he's sweating. Damn. That would be horrible. That's disgusting. I don't even want to think about that. Please like every sport the... have to be no contact. Go on to the go on to the next hit blunt, please. You're right. gonna have to play sports in like a little uh, spacesuit type thing. Yeah. So it extracts the sludge, stores it. Half time you empty the thing, mm. come back again. Damn. That's disgusting. Who for a game, you know? I know, right? People would probably have much better dental hygiene if toothpaste had addictive substance in it. No. You don't think so? Everyone's like, people would just be smelling minty all the time. Yeah. Doesn't mean their dental health is that, be Would you rather that or bad breath? What? Would you rather them smell minty or bad breath? For them or for me? For you. For me? I, 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 I never have bad breath. <laughs> I got gum in right now. <laughs> no, I was saying, okay, for them. For them? Oh, yeah, I don't want people to stink. Exactly. I'm saying, no, 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 but I'm saying it doesn't mean that necessarily their dental health will be good because they could just be eating it. They're addicted to it. I'm not saying no, it does have to be edible. What? I'm just saying that it's addictive. What do you mean it doesn't have to be edible? Addictive, every addictive thing is edible. No, but like, like you just is, drink heroin or something. No, but toothpaste is. To, uh, well, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I exactly. wouldn't know. I don't even know where to find it. Yeah. He- Heroes? What did you say? Who? What? <laughs> anyway, continue. Anyway, um, yeah, say, toothpaste, is, toothpaste is. is edible. Like, you can eat that, bro. I mean, it's not recommended, but... It's not recommended. I mean, <laughs> nine, out ten, 9 out of 10 doctors probably don't recommend it, <laughs> but you can probably still eat it. So you haven't peed about... <laughs> We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. It's like you struggle with it. We're not doing this. What, <laughs> peanut... Toothpaste sandwiches. That's disgusting. <laughs> Toothpaste yeah. and jelly sandwiches. That's disgusting. And do you know this? I'm pretty sure someone has tried that before. Yeah, 100%. Like, tried to actually put the Colgate or the... <laughs> not even the Colgate, the Aquafresh. Because <laughs> you know the Aquafresh thing is sweet. Like oral, like you know something like oral B, mm-hmm. like you know how that like, has like a funny flavor as well. Does they'll, be, like, they'll get experimental. Ah, uh, you never used it before. I've never used oral B. Yeah. No, man, man, man is. Do you know what it is? One thing I tr- this is a mad tangent, and I don't even know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> but I'm talking about it. Um, I saw shoe face the other day. Obviously, man's been Colgate the whole time. Oh, which one? We, oh, what? What are you using that hard? <laughs> well, Arm and Hammer. <laughs> Real people know Arm and Hammer is an elite toothpaste, bro. That's probably got uranium in it. I was like, <laughs> that's an Arm and Hammer. Arm and Hammer, bro. I just the rest with a bicarbonate soda. Yeah, man. Active. Yeah, shine. That's the things that you're meant to be putting in cake <laughs> <laughs> and clean the surfaces with. Nah, What's bro, it's, it's certainly, but I, I uh, um, recently been using Corsido. Okay. That How's one? That? Hey, my teeth have never felt cleaner before. Never felt cleaner. I can't lie. Yeah, corset and arm and hammer might have to be the thing. Or maybe if I go, if I go, if I go now it's this December, mm. I'm gonna bring back hella euphemol. Okay, I'm just sticking with my Colgate because the stuff you're doing right now. What? I've tried it once or twice. What euphemol? Yeah. Just, is it because it's spicy? It's just like what are we doing? Here? Is it because it's spicy? But what are we doing? That's here? how you know it's working. <laughs> See, that's the problem. I'm being serious. That's how you know it's that's working. That's the problem, you people. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> what, what, what? You Nigerians? You're Nigerian as well. So what? No, we're doing? just Nigerians. Oh, what? You black? You're black. Let's, no. let's go. What? Nah, you South London? You're from South as well. <laughs> what are you talking about, you people? You people, man. Huh? No, I plead the fifth. Tommy, I, is that you? I, I expanded. Tommy. That's a Tommy. <laughs> you know that's not even his real name. 
Is it, I'm not surprised. It sounds it's too... It's Steven or something. Like, his name is Steven? Yeah. Because I was going to say, Tommy Robinson, it sounds a bit too... Like, it like, 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 too like nice Jamie Foxx. <laughs> 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 it sounds a bit too clean. Wait, let, uh, I think I'm... I'm like Jamie Foxx. I wouldn't have gone that far. But like, yeah, like... Let me get his actual name out. Because like, when I... I thought some of these people just have stage names, bro. But I was like... But how can you have a stage name for racism? That's crazy. It's, uh, That's nasty work, you know? Like, I need people to know my name. Like, Tommy Robinson. What uh, a guy. I even saw a video the other day. Um, Stephen Christopher Yaxley Lennon. So Stephen Lennon? Yeah. Or, uh, but Stephen Lennon can run as well, though. Yeah, like... It's not, but or I, Steve Lennon. Hmm. I, do you know what it is? I, uh, it's nah. It's got like hyphen in it. Nah, I was going to say that Steve Lennon... I don't know which one sounds more racist. I'd say I'm gonna say Tommy Robinson because of propaganda yeah. and what he's done already, but Steve Lennon. Mm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, Steve. But you know, Toby. Sorry. Having having a stage name for for racism, racism is crazy. Is crazy. crazy. Man said, "Nah, I'm gonna go too hard in the paint. They can't know my real name." <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. That's actually well, crazy. He's doing all right for himself. Huh? He's doing all right for himself. All things considered. You support him? I was like, what's going on there? No, I'm just saying. What is that on your on your on your fleece? What does that say? We didn't this because like, I don't know what that actually says. What do you think it says? EDL or something? I don't like, know what that says, bro. So he's just hype, bro. I don't even know that 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 you sigil see this on your. You see times. I don't even know that sigil Probably on your cap. Somewhere. That sigil on your cap. I don't even know what it means. What is it? Hey, you don't know about baseball, so I ain't gonna give you like a. What is it? Oh, is it Babe Ruth's team? <laughs> this hooligan. Fair enough. This hooligan. Oh, yeah, it's not even baseball. It's American football. But anyway. Uh... <laughs> That's how I knew you did. It's my right. Because if you knew, you would have corrected. It's what? Baseball? Wait, what did you say it was? It's American football. Let me see that again. Oh, I know them, man. I know them, man. Hey, it's not like that, man. I know them, man. It's what the Dallas Cowboys, your, isn't it? What were your thoughts on this whole rioting? and The rioting thing? Yeah. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Racism is the biggest mental illness mm. of all time. It's crazy. I wouldn't say this is racism. It's more Islamophobia. It's not just Islamophobia because they're, what they're also saying is the fact that a black boy mm. in Stockport killed three kids or whatever. Yeah. That's what they're using to incite some of their violence as well. It's not just about Islamophobia. Obviously, there is Islamophobia mm. as well, but it's just a fundamental racist aspect. And it's not even necessarily like racism just towards black people. It's racism to anyone who is not the same ethnic background as them. Whites. Well, from what I've seen, it's more so Islamophobia, but it's like people <clears> are <throat> using it as... Mm, you know there's black people as well. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> let's, let's get on to them as well. It's, it's not good, man. It's not good. And do you know what it is, yeah? I don't even... I'll Actually, let's you... put... Obviously, we've got international. Maybe they're not clued up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you want to explain the um, situation? So, or to be fair, it's been all over the news, really. Mm. Like, so, over the past, what, two weeks? A week and a bit? I think it, Has it been a week? It's been a week. There, there and thereabouts. Because yeah. remember, it was brewing a little bit, and now they're going on tour. Okay, yeah, yeah. So basically, Tommy Robinson, leader of the EDL group, mm. that he's, he's there. He's, we basically call them domestic terrorists because what they're trying to do is incite violence, terror, and distrust community mm. through violence, through rioting, raiding shops, all this sort of stuff. But let's go like back a bit further. In the name of Obviously, racism. it started off with um, the Southport killer. Yeah, the Southport killer. Who murdered... Two young girls, or was it three? I thought it was three. Yeah, I think it's three young girls that he injured a couple of people <clears> as well. Yeah, and um, yeah, and, and he was these, black. these are these are children, and yeah, he was black, yeah, 17 years old. Um, but I think for me, what made that whole situation wild is obviously, you know, people are grieving, mm -hmm. and someone's decided, you know what, let's just throw out a fake name out there, say he's Muslim. Obviously, it's white girls, so people already, I'm empathetic and I forget race, all that. Yeah. The fact that it's just a child and it's yeah, 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 yeah. regardless of race, that's that's <clears throat> even me, I would like go to a protest to get like get this stopped type thing. But um not that type of thing. No, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah um <laughs> I'll put a disclaimer on. <laughs> yeah, because you know sometimes people think like I said <laughs> Twitter, here <laughs> is a <laughs> Nah, I hear it, I hear it. But um yeah, and then obviously channel I think I, I wrote down the name, channel free now or something, yeah. without the fake name. Said he was Muslim. Didn't they say he was like Pakistani or something like that? So they said he's Pakistani. I can't remember. I know, but they just said they just gave him a Muslim name. Yeah. Also said he was an immigrant, and you know how people yeah. feel about immigrants. Yep. And then that's led to a bunch of people. 
you know, and I think this is an interesting conversation because we have this conversation about America being crazy and all this stuff. But yeah. I went um, January, what was it? January 5th. What? The sword? No, no, no. When um, Donald Trump, they sure. stormed the Capitol. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. January 5th. Or so, something like that. I One know it was the... somewhere in the beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they started off the year crazy. Last yeah. year, yeah. So when that happened and then Donald Trump said what he said... We were thinking, wow, that's crazy, da 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 da. But when you see it in this country as well, it's like, we're at a point with social media that like, it's getting, it's getting near. Like it's very. But then man can't storm what Lord of Common, a House of Common, sorry, mm. what House of Lords. <laughs> like no, let's be real though. Well, actually, <laughs> you're saying that. Actually, I don't know, you know. But when there's like five hundred people outside your door, it's not like you're saying they can't, but. But, but this is the thing though, this is what I don't understand because you see when it was, when during COVID, when we had the Black Lives Matter uh, yeah. protests and essentially it wasn't even like, the protests weren't even violent. Mm. Yeah. Especially the ones in um, on Whitehall, they weren't violent at all, but there was a large police presence yeah. just in case they get a bit rowdy. So the Palestine marches as well, police presence, heavy police presence in case they get a bit rowdy. With all of these EDL racist riots, the police have been nowhere to be found. They're on holiday. They're doing nothing. No, they're doing this. This is where they've been getting injured and stuff. Late. They're there late. Mm. Like, like, so let's, let, they... let's be real here, bro. Mm. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I will disclose this one time and one time only. Yeah? Mm. This will be the only time I ever disclose this on the pod. In terms of the amount of information, yeah, that police have, all these government bodies have, or even just uh, companies that work with police, home office, all things domestic. Yeah. We know when things are going to happen. Oh, we know yeah. when protests are going to happen. We yeah. know when certain groups are going to meet in these locations or whatever. Mm. I'm not going to lie to you. If that was an EDO, if that was a, a black racist group or an immigrant racist yeah. group, that would have been locked off quickly. So you're saying that it's... Uh... It's, it's very much selective, bro. Like, mm. let's be real here. Like, let's be, let's be real with the country that we live in. Like... I saw one thing, yeah. So Carla said this, I don't even know how many years ago it was. It was a couple of years ago yeah. um, when Tommy Robinson was in the audience and he questioned him on on immigration and, you know, why the immigrants and da-da-da-da, all that sort of stuff and whatnot. With racism, and especially, especially systemic racism, mm. it's not people like Tommy Robinson that are fueling it. I hope you know that. It's not Tommy Robinson. It's people that are higher class okay, and yeah, the rich. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a pawn more so. He's a I? pawn. He is a pawn. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if even with some of these social media campaigns, if for, like foreign nationals, foreign right-wing nationals are pushing some of this propaganda as well. Mm. Because they, they like this is the way that you can destabilise a nation, bro, mm. and destabilise what people have in another country. Mm. Because let's think about it. Racism is brought in by rich people to make the working class divided. Mm. If you can if you can create but squabble. I think this is more so xenophobia than just it's it's all of it, bro. Yeah. It all it all stems back to racism at the end of the day. However you like it, it all stems back to racism. Because no, I'm even, saying in this specific instance, because I don't think obviously black people are being affected by this, but I mm. think it's more so anybody who they think is a yeah, but, but, eighty that part of the eighty two percent. But again, but again, racism isn't just limited to black people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it still counts. Racism is is it's about discrimination to race. Hmm. Black, Asian, Middle Eastern, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. It's it, racism still applies to them. So I'm clouding all of that and the fundamentals is is racism, bro. And it's mistargeted, um, it's mistargeted uproar and frustration. Because really, it's not us men that are coming here. First, first, first and foremost, first and foremost, they asked us to come here to build this country, yeah? Hmm. I, I know. Especially with Windrush, it was heavily targeted for the Caribbeans as well. But for West Africans as well, we were asked to come here and help build this country. Mm. This country without immigrants is nothing, bro. Look at the NHS. I'll put it this way, yeah? There's a cycle that you go through. You go to the shop, yeah? You're not necessarily served by a white person. Especially in supermarkets, you're not necessarily served by that. Unless they're, you know, older, mm. it's someone who's not necessarily British. On your way home, get your car washed. Your car washed, your car washed people aren't British. Mm. you get into an accident you need help ambulance ambulance driver might be British whatever you go into the hospital and you get checked in your nurses your doctors your porters the people that are there ensuring that the hospital ticks the people that mm. are there checking on your medicine the people that are there making sure you have all the treatment that you need they're not white British people bro but the people that clean the streets they're not white British people the people that 
are, you know, bin men. The people that will come and do all these menial little jobs to help society flow. It's very rare to see white British people in, in, the, in those types of jobs. Now, again, I'm only speaking from a Londoner's po point of view. No, yeah. I'm only speaking from a Londoner's point of view. I don't know what it's like to live up north, down south, west country. I don't know what it's like. But what I can say is that it makes no sense for you to be racist and saying, oh, they're stealing our jobs, da 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 da, da when you're on benefits, not you haven't worked in 33 years. Mm. You haven't worked in 18 years. You left school with no GCSEs. Yeah, but I think that's a part of the misinformation part of it because they think that immigrants specifically, then like these luxury hotels, yeah. where they had to do really was just leave their country. But they stormed the Holiday Inn. Yeah, I know, which was insane. Express. Insane, insane. insane. They don't even there. like the Ritz Carlton, bro. Mm. Like, I can't lie. If they were the Ritz Carlton, I'd be like, okay, do you know what? Maybe they shouldn't have put them in a luxury hotel. But still, like, bro, what are we doing here? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying in terms of like level of like Yeah, in whatever. terms of like holiday inns of that. Holiday Inn is still very, it, for them, it's amazing. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But like, yeah, I just don't understand it, man. It's crazy. And the worst part of it is, is that I even saw the little LBC LBC thing where the guy came on, called in and said, yeah, well, 95% 95 of them are, 95% um, of black people are our problem. He's mm. like, where'd you get this number from, bro? Like what? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it takes a certain level of unintelligence, arrogance, mm. and I want to say, oh, I don't even know, I don't even know what a third one is, but those two in particular, to even think like that. And this is why I say racism, mm. like real racism is a mental illness. It's the worst, it's the worst and most famous mental illness known to mankind. Because how can you simply hate someone based off of the color of their skin? You don't know them from Adam. Mm. You don't know them from nowhere. But they've come here, cool. And you want to blame the reasons why you're a failure and you're just coasting in life or living paycheck to paycheck or living on the dole on another man who escaped war, yeah. famine. But I guess that's the... How does that even make sense? Yeah, but we're in a society as well where... If this was a hit blunt, funny enough. Bro. We were like, are we smarter now because we have the internet or are we dumber now? We're dumb... But they're dumber. That, I'm not. I'm not dumber in it. Like, no, but I, don't I think, think I I think, let, let, let's like all be honest in terms of like we're not as we're not really willing to research things as much as we should. A lot of people just read the headlines yeah. and just read things. Because let's be real, right? Let's say for example, this was a, let's give everyone the benefit of the doubt. This was an honest mistake. They got the name wrong. They were given a false source and they didn't mean it, right? Cool. Someone else puts out the real story. Mm. Do you think, or they put out the real story, the news outlet that started this whole thing, they're not going to read, like, let's be honest, right? In an ideal world, they'll read the second story and be like, oh, okay, this wasn't like a Muslim or, mm. so let's just, okay, this and is let's it. Be, let's be able ourselves in that school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this isn't as, it's bad and we should be upset about it, but it's not, it it's now, not now, what Nigel Farage Now, now we need to target our frustration or anger elsewhere yeah night knife crime problems or whatever yeah but the problem is is that people stick on that first headline and now they're gonna and this is maybe we can get into social media platforms as well i'm angry at what's happened i'm angry at the fact that i think a muslim person has done this so i'm gonna keep myself in an algorithm where i mean tommy robinson said well, What's the name again? Tom Robinson. Steve, whatever. I don't even yeah, know. Steve yeah, Steve Bartlett. Whatever. <laughs> Let me not say that. that. That's a black guy. That first of all, that's a black guy. Tommy, Tommy Robinson, he's saying there's Nigel Farage just saying all these things. Mm -hmm. I'm reading like news outlets that are trying to keep me in this pool where yeah. I'm going to the pub and my friends are educated as well. So they're going to be saying the same type of thing. And then gets to a point where now you're charged up on the wrong information and yeah. it's too late to look back. So And, and do you know what I think the problem is for that? I think the fact that, I don't know, man, like, I want to say, I don't think certain news publications mm. should not be backed by government. And when I say backed by government, we all know people in, like, BBC and all these guys, mm. they ha they're buddy-buddy with a lot of officials and politicians yeah. and high-ranking folk. Mm. I think there should just be a, a news network or an, a newspaper, maybe because we're gone from the days of newspaper, I'll say news network now, but it's be a news network that's run by the people. Run by the people that actually like can fact check this stuff because a lot of false- Oh, it's like a fact checking bureau or something. Yeah, or like there's something, some sort of 
Like, you see how we have Ofcom yeah. to deal with complaints and egregious behaviour on, on TV and all things that we don't really want to see. We should have some sort of news body that can verify. This is why on Twitter, I love politics for all. Mm. I lo and they even got shut down by the government, what, like two years ago? They got packed in. Mm. And then recently they've come back again on the rebranding, mm. but they come back again and they basically just keep people updated on politics and everything that's going on. Because mm. remember, that's how all the party, um, yeah, party gate stuff was getting leaked. Okay. It's through politics for all. Okay. They had, I don't know who was feeding them all the information, mm. but they got the pictures of Boris doing, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where, doing the uh, hanky panky, who was the one hide the sock, who was the one kissing, catch the lion. Kissing um, in the office. Hancock. Yeah. Yeah. They caught we, him. We, we, we Cocking hands. We need to flog that guy. You know? <laughs> they caught him. <laughs> they caught him. Imagine you being caught. That's a HR meeting. We let that guy off. I'm sure bro, he got paid to leave. <laughs> bro, exactly. And, and this, is, this is what I mean. Going up on I'm a Celebrity and all that stuff. Trying to... In, in, like, and Nella Rose was only caught the most flag. <laughs> I don't know if they were the same year, but I'm gonna no, that was not just for us, but still, man. Bro, look, all I'm saying is, yeah, I think what we need to do is we need to actually centralize a lot more things. And when I say centralize, I don't mean like I'm not coming off in. I don't want to seem like I'm coming off in a communistic way because I don't <laughs> I mean, think because <laughs> no, I, I don't because I'm not really sure like that really works per se. Yeah. What I mean is, I feel like we need to actually have proper control on what goes outside and like. I, I, don't, I don't know. I get maybe, what you're saying. Maybe I'm talking from a like a dystopian type of yeah, point. idealistic. Yeah. yeah, but the problem with that, there's two problems. Number one is that what is what do you deem as important news? Yeah. So like, what should be reported? That's why there's different branches for like left wing news, right wing news. Yeah. And they all tell like different stories. The second problem for me is um, how fast is this information going to be checked? It's true. Because like this thing, for example, they've just heard that someone's been killed. So then, um, this isn't like the BBC or anyone. This is just like a random news outlet yeah. that's just instantly just put out. It's a Muslim, da, da, da. So how quickly would this bureau be able to hold this information for and then yeah. put it out to the relevant channels? Because once true. the police report, once someone, once they hear someone's been, because I don't know if you've seen the film Nightcrawler. Have I've you seen heard of it, but I don't think I've seen it. Basically, in the film, it's like, it's like a journalist. He has like a police radar and whenever a crime's reported... Oh, I think I've seen the trailer. I've, yeah. I've, I think I've definitely seen the trailer. But yeah, as soon as the crime's reported, he's just on the scene. Mm. But he like intercepts it and then he'll take pictures like, bro, the body's like, the person's dead. The guys, as soon as they die, the guy's taking pictures of it. Mm. Like within seconds, posting it, send it to the first outlet. So like, how do you even control that? How do you control the people who, in this social media era, it's, you know, it's... like, if I get this... Five, ten seconds after people have heard about it, like images, yeah, you get information, it in, you get scoop. You're you're getting billions of impressions, all that stuff. So yeah, I think what that's it is, the difficult thing about verifying. It is it is difficult, but at the same time, I feel like I don't know, man. I just want news to be more reliable. That's the only. Mm. That's that's what I want. Like the fact that major news outlets can say, "Oh, the Black Lives Matter protests were in honor of the Queen's birthday or death." What was it? I don't know. Something stupid. Probably the birthday, because probably, yeah, probably, probably the birthday. Yeah. I was like, are you, mm. can he get someone on the ground? Can he get someone on the ground to go and report on these yeah, stories? Just ask one person; they'll tell you. Oh, it's the Queen's birthday. Oh, that's nice. But anyway, we're here for this. Exactly, and you know, it's obviously not to go because we've gone off on a bit of a tangent. Mm. This whole riot and stuff is crazy, but you know, it's weird because I feel like there was more political and police energy for the 2011 riots when shit was really going on. Mm than now. And even the 2011 riots, bear in mind, I'm not condoning riots or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not an anarchist. What I'm saying is that the 2011 riots was off the back of university fees tripling, hmm. Mark Duggan getting killed, yeah. amid all the, the shit that the Tories had already started to stir up yeah. from that time. So that one is like, it's not like it's a, it's not more of a, community issue type thing where it's like we're going out because we hate people it's like the people have had enough yeah. and you know in history that happens yeah. when pe when the government yeah. does something to the people and the people say we've had enough they, they usually riot do you yeah. know what I mean I feel like the government's job is to see how far they can push like how far can we raise taxes how far can we cut this until there's a riot yeah, or some yeah. sort of uprising but now we're not this isn't political yeah. This is not political. Well, it kind it's of not, is, but it's not. It's politi it's, it's politically charged. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. not political. Yeah, yeah. It it's not, not based off like all. a policy or anything. It's just 
so this is why I think more than ever we should have a lot more energy for things that are going things like this. Mm. Because nah, man, sorry, we can't we can't claim to be a great nation. We can't claim to be a united kingdom when things like this are happening and it's running. But no, but I think you're viewing this in a weird way because it's not. This isn't like a because this happened they're doing this. I think it's more so. It's no, no. It's, it's not, like an excuse type thing. It is that. That was the trigger. Because even was that it. Daniel, um, what was his name? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Andrew. Andrew, yeah. Yeah. When you look at his case, right, there's an immigrant who's the killer. Yeah. They killed a British citizen. Mm -hmm. He's a child as well. So really and truly, if you're a logical person, that would, that would be the same reason you're writing. And but it's not really, let, let's be honest, that's not really why they're writing. And they're writing because they're Islamophobic, they're racist, and they really just want to this is the pent up aggression and feeling that people like Nigel Farage, all these guys have like started to this ideology. This is the peak of it. Now, now we're at a point where we don't want to talk anyone. Mm. I think I was listening to some guy called um, Van Leef and he does like a podcast. And yeah, stuff. he was the one who told Kanye. Um, I, th I think he showed me yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was, he said he had a podcast where he's like, um, he was talking about Donald Trump, but he said something interesting to me. He was like, when. Every, you can have a different ideology, I can have a different ideology. But the moment it becomes violent, like you, you can't go back from that. No, you can't. And that's that's you my cannot. that's what I'm concerned about with this especially. It's like, how do we how can I go back to work feel like for example, have your workplace said anything about There's been emails about it, yeah. 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 But like how can you go back to work knowing like how can you go back to a football stadium knowing like at yeah. this point I feel like I could get rushed if I don't know, like Joe Gomez lets in a goal and now yeah, everyone's like, looking at me. A penalty. Also, so you get what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah. how can I go back to, how can you feel safe in those type of environment? Do, do you know what it is? Because I, I don't feel like this is something we can just, this is not, a point where people have like made it abundantly clear. I don't care if he's not Muslim anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to crash out. Yeah. I'm not going to read anymore. They we're not talking anymore. This is a time for action. So how can we go back to a, a society where we're sharing spaces with people? Because I'll be honest, like I was, I was on the train yesterday, but I was with my dad though. I was on the train yesterday, and there were like two white guys, and we were just joking around. But I was like, hmm, like you know that was where you have to be like, yeah, uh, just keep a safety. Like you know that feeling of like you yeah. don't know how this could. No, I hear it. And to be fair with you, I'll be honest. Like so, I went football training on Tuesday. Mm. Um, and my mum was like, oh, be careful. Where are you going? Like, I'm going, I'm going to Dartford. Mm. Like, ah, please be careful. Yes. You know what's going on in the country. Da, 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 da. Like, ah, that'd be all right. And I was driving, driving. I was thinking, you know what though? Like, you know, it's a thing where it makes everyone second guess things that are like either the norm or little misinterpretation. Mm. Like for example, like, you know how white people could like, when I say white people, I mean like these like the lads yeah. when they banter and everything or whatever. Like it's not racist. But they're like it's like it's edgy. It's, it, it, it could like be if you know, if you know them, it's calm. But if it's like out of context, you would probably say no. Like, no it's, it's it's like it's one of those things where it's not it's it's borderline yeah. racist, not racist. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's one of those things like those things that you can pass up, and it's like you know they're just being silly or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's not actually being racist. But things like this will make you second guessing. Be like, no, what if man's been taking the piss this whole time? Yeah, like what if he actually? Agrees? And if he says it, then bro. And, and this this is why I said it's not it's not. The foundation is not political, but mm. it's politically charged. Yeah. You have people like Nigel Farage, people like Tommy Robinson even, you can say that a lot of his thing, a lot of things he's trying to push is very political. Mm. This is what causes community to just ignite mm. like that. Yeah. And one thing I will say, yeah, moving forward to answer your question in a sort of way, how do we go back into these spaces? How do we actually, I guess, I don't want to say move past it, how, but how can we grow from this? Because obviously we're not going to like take months off of work till everything's sorted out. So. Exactly. So what I'm going to say is, I think what we need to do in our communities, mm. we need to unite. That's what we need to do. Yeah. We need to unite and be like, look, we're not going to tolerate this. Yeah. As in, and when I say communities, I'm not talking about black communities. I'm not talking about Asian. I'm talking about all of us, human community, mm. yeah, that understand that racism is a stupid, illogical sickness. Yeah. We need to unite and be like, look, we're not going to allow these domestic terrorists to continue rampaging on the streets because they're saying that we're the ones that are messing up these streets. But look, bro, you guys have been rioting, smashing up shoes on and that. Mm. And we're, we're here building a community. We're mm. fixing it. There are people out the next day 
And this is why I'm saying it's like, it's not even a thing it was like, oh, all white people are crashing out. Bro, in Hull, the next day, white people out on the streets cleaning up after the people that have been committing yeah. stupidness. Do you know what I mean? And this is what I mean. You can't, like, you, you can never generalise an entire population of people down to the acts of few, mm. which is even why I say it's like, it's dumb for even when after like 9-11 and things, whatever, Americans are like, cool, any Muslim, man, crashing out. That man went all the way to the Middle East, didn't even know where they were going. They said, you, you, and you, you're getting it. No, they knew where they were going. Yeah, but bro, there no, were, no, hella, no, 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 there no, were no. extracurricular activities no, no, that they didn't no, no, need no, no, to do. No, 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 no. You're not they, were... they knew where they were going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they knew what they were looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they knew they were looking for oil, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was a battle of oil. It wasn't really. It was like, but it was... yes, go. You have an excuse to go exactly. there. It was hella extracurricular stuff that yeah. they didn't need to do. And this is what I'm saying. Again, hella extracurricular stuff that they don't need to do. You don't need to smash up shops. Yeah. What did the shops have to do with this? What did Shoe Zone do? Mm. How does Shoe Zone and immigration link? Please. Like a Shoe Zone you walk past every day. It's not like a shop. Like, it doesn't affect you. Like, <laughs> do like, you know what I'm saying? But even, even still, it's just dumb. And it's like, you're messing up your own country. Cool. Like, I, I, I just can't fathom it. Like, mm. the reason why I'm lost for words sometimes is because I can't fathom it. Like, I'm a logical person. I'm an educated person. Mm. Any educated person will know that Racism is a sickness, bro. Yeah. It's a sickness. And it takes uh, a, a weird level. You know how they say geniuses have to like um, surrender like a level of EQ for yeah. such high IQ? Yeah. It's geniuses that invented racism and pushed it because they knew that as sick and twisted as this is, it's going to make us bread. Mm. It's going to build a community that we want or build the nation exactly how we want it. Mm. We need them, but we're not going to tell them how important they are. Yeah. We're going to make them feel like they're second class citizens whilst they're doing the dirty work that we, that we don't want to do. Mm. So that the, so our people that come after us will have blessed life, mm. relaxed, chilled. That's what it is. Ultimately, that's what it is. And that's why for me, I can't be, I'm not, obviously I'm, I'm, not, I'm angry at the fact that people like Tommy Robinson are so thick and ignorant and just bigoted to the fact that they're going to push this agenda and believe in it with all their might. Mm. But that's not where my real anger lies. My real anger lies with the powers that be. Mm. It's, it's the people so higher what, up. What that's you what want, it like, is. Um, like his star man, all these guys to... I'm not... Out your boys! <laughs> out them! <laughs> Sorry. Because he did say that he's gonna, he has like an army ready, da da da. Yeah. And to be fair with you, I'm not going to lie to you, like... That's just, it's, it's adding gas to the flame. Mm. It's adding gas to the flame because now I saw online after he um, addressed the situation, I think it was last week, Friday, yeah, um, like he addressed it and people were like, oh, this guy, like, what about us? What about our British nationals? How are you going to protect us? You're protecting all the immigrants, all that sort of stuff. It's that sort of, it's that level of unintelligence that is going to target and light the, fl light the flame for. Does that make sense? But then how do you, because the problem is it's like, He's, he's the premise of everyone. Mm -hmm. But how do you protect everyone when some people think it's our us versus them problem? Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Because it's I, not the I, whole 82% or 85% of like I, white I people who know. are, who are like, out looting or doing this. But there are probably, there's probably a percentage that are out doing like the writing or protesting. There's probably a percentage that don't like immigrants, but they're not going to like go out and write. Yeah. There's some that like maybe just... They, they just don't agree they, they, with any of it. Yeah. And they they feel unsafe as well. And then there's obviously uh, like um the people of colour or black people, yeah. immigrants and stuff. And it's like, how do you keep everyone happy? Honestly, I have no idea. Because there is one group who's causing the problems. Mm. But how do you tackle that one group? Is the, is the you know issue. I think it's because, first of all, it's a lack of education. Mm. It's a lack of education. And the reason why I say it's a lack of education is because one thing that, one thing I rate Germans about, yeah. Oh, go back to this point. Yeah, yeah. One thing I rate Germans about is the fact that after the atrocities that they committed for World War Two mm. and the Holocaust and all of that, years after, of course, they got sanctioned by the UN and all that sort of stuff. Mm. UN was even formed off the back of that as well. They taught themselves about what happened prior. But do and you... just just let just let me no, land no, this no, one. No, no, no. They taught themselves of what what happened prior, and they taught themselves that. Actually, this the Führer mm. that we were following was, yo, yeah, and this can't happen again. This can't though. happen again. Yeah. And one thing about education and when you teach people things is that it's not just there for them to learn it, but wisdom is gained mm. so that we don't make the same mistakes as in the past. 
Now, one thing that I feel like this country has done very, very poorly is actually educate. I want to say actually educate. I mean, educate them properly mm. about what the British colony actually was. Let's be real. It was one of the worst mm. human trafficking empires of all time. I think the only thing that might come close is maybe the French. Maybe. But, but the thing... <laughs> so what I'm going to say is, mm. I think if you actually educate people in this country mm. about how this country was built, there'll be a gen there'll be a lot more appreciation for not only people that are like you but people that have also come here that are second third generation immigrants mm. do you know what i mean people like people that parents came here either in the 50s 40s windrush whenever it was came here did all the menial jobs even people that were slaves that were brought over here mm. it's do you know what i mean there'll be a, a lot more appreciation because like we know our history we know how important you were to our history so, so how can we hate you type of thing? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, 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 obviously, I'm, I, obviously, I know it's not as linear as that and not everyone's well, going to no, be on the same. It's not even that. It's just the, well, it's the start of it. It's like, do they think they did anything wrong in the first place? Because you just, you, obviously, you described it as like human trafficking or whatnot. But yeah. to them, it's like, but, but I here, mean, you're here now, so are you enjoying here's it? Here's the twist. Here's the twist. Because everyone knows slavery is wrong. Mm. Everyone knows slavery is wrong. But no, the, but they, they, we've used, and again, this is, this is the problem as well. We view slavery as the like American version. Exactly. That's, no, but that's, no, what but that's where that's where it, like kind of stops for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. like, obviously, there's like slavery still going on to this day, but but to a lot of people, slavery is just an American thing. It didn't happen here. No, it's, it's like I'm just not paying them, and they're living in poor conditions, kind of thing. Or mm -hmm. I'm just not paying them. It's just free labor. That's what a lot of people yeah. just see it as. And for a lot of people as well, why would they educate the public about something that? Could affect patriotism. Could also mean that if if I'm teaching you about this, someone's got to like rectify it eventually. You know, no? because, yeah, but but to be fair, but if you do, if if you think, I don't think all it's these about... colonies and all these stuff is like okay, or yeah. you kind of just brush it under the rug, then no one has to address it. You can keep the same old, same old. And, I mean, and, they're still and, gonna come, and so. that's why I say it's very systemic and fundamental hmm. to this country. Yeah. Without racism, this country doesn't thrive, or the the country doesn't operate the same way it does. Yeah. Like, let's be very honest. They with can't. Each other. They can't. The minute they take accountability, something's got to be done. Exactly. So, and and this is what I mean. Mm. This is this is why I say I rate I rate the German government at the time, whoever decision it was, to say we're gonna make sure we know our history and it's mm. whatever. Obviously, it's not gonna work for a hundred percent of the population. Nothing will ever satisfy hundred percent of the population. Yeah. Of course, there are probably still some neo-nazis and whatever mm. right-wing groups that still support whatever that's that's just humans yeah. where no one is going to be perfect no one is going to always adhere to one line of teaching or whatever mm. but one thing i will say for the vast majority it breeds that accountability it breeds that knowledge of you know what <laughs> yeah i do love my country <sighs> yeah we have committed atrocities in the past but you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna raise my kids better mm. i can't do anything about my forefathers I, can't, yeah. I might not even be able to do anything about myself, yeah. but I'm going to raise my kids better. Yeah. That's what it breeds. And one thing I will say is that racism is not natural. Racism is not born. Yeah, like when you, racism if you go to is, a nursery right now, if you go to a nursery right now, the kids aren't going to be... Exactly. Racism is taught. Yeah. There were even videos of kids with their mums swinging their arms, singing racist chants. Mm. Like, it's, it's taught. And yeah, when you see... Do whatever they when pray, you see... Yeah. Exactly. When you see that... Mm. Ah, that breaks my heart, bro. It breaks my heart because why you're dumb, but now your youth's dumb as well. Yeah. Now the offspring is dumb. Now we're actually getting a lineage of more and more stupidity. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And that stupidity is just being passed down like hand-me-downs. Mm. So that's why I say one th that it all comes down to the powers that be yeah. and education. Because if you're educated enough, you know that what you're doing is stupid. Mm. And if you're educated enough, you'd know that it's the people above that are pinning us all against each other. Because let's be real, whenever things like this happen, whenever there's some sort of political unrest, whenever there's some sort of uproar, rising or whatever, there's always someone in government that knows someone that's gonna profit off of this. Mm. And that's why they're stoking the fire. That's why they're putting all this whatever. That's the reason why people like Nigel Farage are allowed to have their own political party and actually surge forward something stupid, something very stupid as an EU referendum. Mm. 
Mm. Based for oh yeah, if we stop paying the EU this amount a week, yeah, we're gonna shave the NHS, we're gonna do jobs, we're gonna get immigrants. Da, da, da. Now look at the NHS, bro. Mm. In fact, we're even spending more because now we have all these things that we didn't have to deal with in terms of importing, exporting. Now look at the, now look, bro. Look at the state of the country. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And again, it stems down to education, bro. Mm. If you're not educated enough to understand the game of chess that is played, and not educated enough to know how evil some of these chess players are and what their real agendas are. Of course, we're not We're not always going to know what the agendas of government officials, politicians, um, what do they call them, bureaucrats or yeah. those, uh, oligarchs, lobbyists. lobbyists. We're not always going to know their plans. Do yeah. you know what I mean? But if we are educated enough to know that a lot of these guys are very wayward and don't actually really care about us, they just really care about their back pocket and their own lineage, then we'll be educated enough to move accordingly and, yeah. and actually realise that the real power is with the people. If we can all commu- like unite as one mm. and say, we're not going to adhere to this. We're not going to put forward your racist agendas. We're not going to blame the immigrants. We're not going to blame the Muslims, the, the, the Sikhs, the Christians, the blacks, whatever. We're not going to do that. We're going to, we are all people and we could all coexist and, 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 and live and thrive if they don't have any power over that, what's what's all their money going to do? The money is always to get other people to do stuff mm. and push, do you know what I mean? So that's why I say it comes down to, it comes down to education, bro. You have to be educated. And this is why, ah, oh, bro, I, 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 I love my mum, bro. Mm. I love my parents, in fact, mum and dad. Making sure that you read books, making sure that you mm. understand the power in books and whatever. Mm. Because now I've fallen back in love with it, bro, I couldn't wish for anything, anything different, yeah. honestly. Because once you read and once you understand what you're reading and you understand the game that these, these guys play, oh my goodness, your world has changed. Yeah. And I'm not even saying that like I'm a genius or I'm sort of enlightened folk or this, that and the third. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if the if more people were educated, mm. if more people left school with GCSEs, unlike Gary from flipping whatever, that's blaming all the immigrants for stealing his jobs, even though, even though he's never even had a CV, even though he's never actually gone to look for a job because, oh, you know, I can't be bothered or, you know, somebody's drinking with my mates and whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I know I'm being very stereotypical, but this is the type of people that are really either rioting or pushing forward these people's agendas. You're the ones playing playing the game of chess for them. Yeah. You think you're a knight, but you're the pawn. You're probably even the pawn's pawn, bro. Like, yeah. let's be honest. Do you know what I'm saying? If these people were just a bit more educated, they would understand that it's actually not the immigrants that are stealing our jobs. It's the government that are cutting the jobs in the first place. Mm. It's the government that are actually closing down some of these businesses or they're just, it's, it's taxes or, or it's, it's social housing or it's youth clubs going down. Or, do you know what I mean? Mm. You understand where to put the blame instead of misfiring it on people that are just trying to have a better life. Re- really and truly. Mm. And I know, apologies, I've been, that's a bit of a rant, isn't it? But <laughs> like, that's just, that's how I see it. That's yeah. the crux of it. Yeah. Education, bro. Honestly, education. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay. Okay. Um, I wanted to say on last last thing before we round up. Um, obviously Elon Musk runs Twitter. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm gonna say is that um, white people are indigenous to South Africa. Just put that out there. Hundred percent. Um, and obviously Tommy Robertson is allowed to have a platform Donald mm. Trump all these guys do you think like especially like with times like this we've seen how easily people are influenced you said you've spoken you've given us a like um, a nice and little quick <laughs> 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 and that's right about um, people being ignorant yeah. and people not being educated so you know there's a large majority of people that with one tweet someone could just do something stupid that could affect so many lives Yeah. do you think people this is a freedom of speech question, but do you think there should just generally be like, if you're able to cause this much uproar mm-hmm. and you've done it, so like Tommy Rose, he's done it. Do you think someone like that should be banned? But I know he was at a point, but like, should we ignore freedom of speech if people are actually being hurt? Because I feel like with a lot of these things, we get to the point where it's like, oh, but I said this, but I didn't tell anyone to do it. And, yeah, you know, I've really got like 12K followers. So like, how could I have hurt anyone? And then no one really takes accountability, but mm. people are pushing out a narrative, pushing out. And I feel like sometimes we forget how powerful 
social media can be as much as it's not real it can definitely be the voice for someone who you respect to mm -hmm. maybe yeah. just put an idea in your head or just say a little thing and just cause so much problems so do you think like people like that should be banned if they're able to cause such a riot like this i don't think it should be banned but it should be informed informed or what the people should be informed that this person is someone who is a provocative character someone who maybe might push misinformation mm. and might have their own agenda but i, I don't think like... you should ever i don't think you should, i don't think you should ever take anyone's speech away mm. I, like honestly i don't think you should ever take anyone's speech away well, my problem with that is right like i was reading an article today and they, they listed it out uh tommy robinson's ex-convict whatever whatever but it's like okay i've read this mm -hmm. but do the people who he can influence even care? Do they know? Are they going to look into it? What he did? So it's like... But again, it's just, it's the thing that goes back to what I was saying with the like the story of like Germans educating their people and whatnot. Mm. Not everyone is going to hear it. Yeah. Not everyone is going to accept it. Not everyone is going to start moving in the way that people want them to move after they've put these new things in place. That happens with every single any sort of leadership mm. there's always going to be an opposition there's yeah. always going to be an opposition so what i'm saying is if for example elon musk on you see how we have the verified how you have the blue tick for people that buy it the gold tick for like the, yeah. <laughs> the real like you know what i mean yeah. um if there was some sort of label saying you know this person is known to incite violence or public uproar through their messages and then tweets or this person is a provocative character, mm. or this person spreads misinformation on numerous occasions and whatnot, at, at least it's a bit of a flag, it's a bit of a deterrent. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. It's, it, the thing is, but then, it's the thing yeah, where you can't... You can't, because the, 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 you know that problem of, but he's saying the real though, and they're trying to exactly. silence and, him. Yeah. And, and again, it's like, like There's always going to be a stupid like, answer for exactly everything. social yeah. media the internet and technology is growing exponentially to the point where we can't actually really regulate everything yeah. you can't really regulate everything but the like most you can do is technology is growing like faster than we are exactly the so, curve yeah. there's a there's a graph somewhere ah i think it was in the i think it was in the book super intelligence mm. there was a graph of the technological advancements since the 19 since 1930 mm. and for a long time so x-axis for a long time it was like this and i think it was the 1980s it went like that mm. and since the 2000s it's literally just been like this it's been it's crazy. been crazy yeah and with that again i do i say this all the time whenever i do like i don't want to say this but whenever i do like talks to like six formers and whatnot about the work that i do in cyber security and whatnot mm. i always say whenever there's a new technology that comes out so for example chat gpt open ai all that sort of stuff now everyone's getting ai chatbots yes you can do 10 new things with it mm times that by 10, that's how many more bad things come with it. Yeah. Because with AI, now they've, you've seen it, there's been AI that has been tricked the way you prompt things into it to, uh, you know, how to build a bomb, how to do this, yeah. how to do that, this, that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's the same way we made a, like, <laughs> I'm going to throw it back to caveman times, but a knife. Yeah. Nice utensil to, tr to cut food, all that sort of stuff to carve, but it's also used to kill. Do you know what I'm trying to it say? It just depends on the intent of the person. Like you can't actually control Exactly. The... You can't control the intent of people. The yeah. only thing you can do is inform the people about what this this tool is mm. or what this person represents or what these... Do you know what I'm saying? And again, bro, it's education. As long as you inform the people about what these, what these characters are like, you know, their track record, we've mm. seen it. But thanks to technology, we have... There are there's cameras everywhere. Everyone has footage. Mm. So I think... It's up to the powers at Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Meta, all of these companies. It's down to them to inform us, our, the users and, and customers of their services, to be like, look, this person, just as a warning, you haven't got to listen to it, but it's here. We're going to inform you anyways. Mm. This person is known to incite violence. This person is known to incite public uproar. Mm, it's known is spread to spread misinformation this person is known for antisocial behaviors this person is known for racism discrimination of any sort of kind it's at, at least if we have those sort of flags on people that actually have a track record of it and we can be like look no because you said this this happened you've done that this has happened and you've, you you know what i'm saying yeah. if we're able to do that at the very least then at, you know there's some sort of deterrent at least and then it's it's down to the people to be like okay do you know what let me actually go and see what 
this thing is talking about like why is there a flag on this person i thought donald trump was just a businessman that you know did the right thing now he's in politics why does everyone hate him mm. oh i thought tom robinson was just someone that you know wants britain to be great i didn't know he was actually a fascist i didn't know he was a bigoted person who actually yeah. dislikes everyone who is not white british yeah. do you know what i'm trying to say yeah but it, it it prompts them to go and research further into something yeah. do you know what i'm trying to say it's the same way with blue sorry i know you want to say like wrap up quickly yeah. but it's the same way with like blue ticks on twitter or even on Instagram to an extent. Like, you see someone who's verified, like, either in someone's comments or whatever, and you think, oh, who's this? Hmm. Like, let me go find out on their page. Oh, what? Oh, he's a musician. Oh, okay. Oh, he makes rock. Okay. Oh, he's got a song with, what, Justin Timberlake? Oh, let me listen. That's research. You're researching. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Same way with all these other business people, all these other journalists that have the blue ticks. They're like, oh, what? Oh, Fabrizio. I didn't actually know Fabrizio Romano was a real person. Yeah. Or Gian, Gianluca Di Marzio. I didn't know that was a real person. <laughs> I thought that was a newspaper because it always said Di Marzio. Yeah. I went on his page. I said, oh, he's an actual real person. Oh, he's been actually researching. Oh, so he actually works for Sky Italy. Okay. Oh, Seri A specially. Okay, this is who he... Do you mm. get what I'm trying to say? Mm. All because of a blue tick. Now, if there was a blue tick and next to it, there was another thing or like a, or some sort of marker that you know that this is for a particular reason, it prompts further research. It's human behavior. Yeah. Why is this person standing up from the rest? Yeah. Why is there a marker that you can't get, but there's, do you know what I mean? This platform has put it on them. Why do they have that marker? Let me go and find out. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just thinking about something that was like, there's so many characters in our life here that Someone like, for example, Donald Trump free code at black. Yeah. So it just takes like one ignorant person to be like, we free code at though. Exactly. The guy was talking about Young Thug. Yeah, they're actually in Young Thug fairly. You know, if here. he gets like elected, he will do the most crazy thing free Young Thug and then go back to whatever he's doing. Exactly. And 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 that, and that's why we need to understand and be smart yeah. enough to know the games that they're playing. No, but I'm just thinking like, yeah, I get what you're saying, but there's just going to be that one person who just does not care and just like holds yeah. it. Like people are still talking about how he helped taste that rocky or I think he yeah. I think he helped Lil Wayne or anything. Um He might have freedom or something. I don't know. He did I can't so, remember. He did something because I, I remember some him. sort of affiliation. Yeah, or they were something. taking pictures, but like it's just the like we, we need to we need to do our own research, man. <laughs> we need to we need to smarten up hmm. and wisen up to the to the the people that are bro, they don't want this episode to come out. <laughs> they don't want this episode to come out. Quick plug, all I'm gonna say is listen. See, this is what I'm repping. This is what we stand for, bro. Yeah. Enough said. Do you want to promote the... the film? Yeah, we promoted yeah. it last week again, but we're promoting it again, especially because, you know, Spotify video, baby. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, Spotify Mentivity film is out now. Make sure you go and check that out on Spotify's YouTube channel. Yes, you heard it correct. Spotify's YouTube channel. Oh, link will be in the... It link will be in the bio, in the description. I might even put a young graphic up. I don't even know. Mm. But bro, look, the work we're doing at Mentivity, it's not just about London. It's not just about black people. It's not about ethnic people. It's about it's about people. Do you mm. know what I mean? It's a community thing. Um, We're doing some really good work. Obviously, like, for me, you know, I was a, men, I was a mentee. You mm. know what I mean? I've mentored a little bit and now I'm like an ambassador and whatnot. But I wish I could do more. Honestly, yeah. I really wish I could do more. And it's down to the people, not only the people like, say, Tyson Leon, who, you know, came up with this, mm. you know what I mean? Like, it's not just because of his dream. It's not just him. Yeah, it's yeah. also now the people that have invested in that dream and the people that are pushing it forward, the people that are really expanding it and whatnot. Because one thing that I will say is that, yeah, people might say I'm biased or whatever because, you know, I was a mentee there or I know say says from the same ends and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I say that this is genuinely life changing stuff, it's not stuff that you might even see. Yeah, you, yeah, cool. You might see a change in a young person's life in a couple of months, but you won't really see the real change until years gone by. Yeah, until they're like 25 and because they've got that friend that they know. seeds that you're be. planting. It's not even just about the friends that you mm -hmm. meet. It's also about the morals that you, you learn. Yeah. Because unfortunately... Not everyone has, has a good home. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. even if you do have a good home, not everyone lives in a good area. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I, I can say that. Like for me, my home my home was good. I mm. had a very good home set up. But my area wasn't great. Yeah. The things that they were teaching me in school about who I am, or at least what I, what I represent in my community and what I'm able to do, they put a ceiling on me, bro. Mm. Ceiling smashed, bro. And all it takes sometimes, sometimes even if you come from a good home, that ceiling can still be there. Because 
your parents are just focused about listen you just need to be educated you just need to be educated in west in african homes especially yeah. education is pushed 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 but you know sometimes you need to be educated but you also need to be awake yeah there's no point there's no point of having someone who's smart but asleep mm-hmm. same way you can't be awake and dumb it doesn't make any <laughs> sense you need to be both and it's organizations like mentivity that are just trying to awaken people mm. awaken people to not only what they can achieve but what they can even inspire other people to achieve so that's what i'm going to say word, word, that's word, all word. i'm going to say let's update the playlist update man. the playlist hey i'm feeling like putting some i don't know some comment on there or like <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> Guys like that, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be up to date with all of our releases. And tune into the whole episode now on Spotify and Apple.